nearly every other AI systems that we look at, we, we almost always find some kind of a bias. A University of Toronto team is working to address biases that exist in AI systems by helping governments and organizations who use the technology. Now, AI systems have increasingly been used all around the world, but experts warn it also has the potential to have life-changing impacts for some individuals. Airports have used them, so have governments, police forces, health agencies. They can also be found in some cell phones, social media apps, and some employers even depend on them when deciding who to hire. But though it has its benefits, artificial intelligence also comes with risks. These AI systems are not always fair, and, and they have different levels of bias. The challenge has been that it's, it's been hard to know how much bias there is and what kind of bias there might be. AI systems are generally designed by humans, humans who can be biased, and that can transfer to the technology, resulting in the exclusion of certain demographics from the training data. Perham Arabi has been working with AI systems for two decades and is part of HALT, the U of T team that is offering to help organizations address this problem and for free. The goal of, of HALT is to measure bias in AI systems, especially when it comes to diversity and understand whether it's facial recognition systems or speech recognition, when do they work and when do they not work. Facial recognition used by criminal justice systems and immigration enforcements around the world has faced increased scrutiny over the years. There have been reports that this technology has led to the wrongful identification and arrest of black men in the U.S. The former Privacy Commissioner of Ontario says most people in Canada are unaware of the consequences of AI. We found that the biases have occurred against people of color, um, people of Indigenous background. The consequences have to be made clear and we have to examine, we have to look under the hood, so to speak. Privacy and ethics are a big part of how AI systems are used with growing calls for regulations. You've heard of Clearview AI. Following an investigation, Clearview AI would stop offering its facial recognition services in Canada and suspend its contract with the RCMP after it violated federal and provincial laws. Police in Calgary also admitted its officers had used the software, but not in any active investigations. They just slurp people's facial images off of social media, Facebook, etc., and use it without any consent or notice to the data subjects involved. 3.3 billion facial images stolen, if you will, in my view, slurped. Arabi hopes this work can help to encourage those who use AI to address this issue. So far, HALT has worked on 20 AI systems, also providing guidelines on how the technology they've evaluated can be improved. Most often, we find that it's simply you're lacking training data in this demographic. And so the hope is they can take that and improve their system, get more training data and make it more fair. Now, the World Health Organization recently released a report on artificial intelligence in health, adding its name to a growing list that's calling on governments and organizations to work together in addressing ethical and human rights concerns when developing AI systems. In Toronto, I'm Faisa Amin for City News.